Hey everybody, we're going to talk about using Dropbox, which is a cloud-based or internet-based storage for your files from your iPod Touch or your iPhone. We're going to assume that you've already downloaded the free Dropbox app from the App Store and that you've set up a free account at Dropbox. When you're in the app, your first choice is whether you want the camera roll from your iPod or iPhone to automatically upload those files every time you take a new photo or video. You can see that I've chosen to turn that off, which means that I'm going to manually choose to upload the files that I want to share there um, instead of having them automatically go. So that's really a personal preference. And if you choose to do it manually, it is a few more steps, but you have more direct control over where those files go and which files are there. So if I'm going to manually upload a file, I want to go to the Uploads tab, which is on the bottom, and choose to add a new file with the plus sign. You're going to choose to upload the file from your camera roll, which is on your device, and you'll have a choice of where those um, files end up at. They call that the destination. So I choose the files that I want to go into Dropbox. I can I chosen three here, so um, before I press upload I can decide if I want to change the folder where those go. You can have folders within folders that really works the same as it would on a computer. Once that's all set I'm just going to press upload. Once your files have all uploaded to Dropbox, in the bottom left hand corner you choose the Dropbox logo and it's going to show you all your files. You can see I've got a video file here and I'm going to click on that video file and once I've opened that file I've got that share button down on the bottom left hand corner. The share button gives me all the different ways that I can share the the file publicly or with the people that I choose. So I'm going to choose to copy the link to that file from the clipboard so that'll be a public link so whoever I send the link to using an email or using Edmodo they would have um, public access to view that, that file and even download it themselves. If you are wanting to share or turn in your picture or video using the link from Dropbox into Edmodo, stick around for the next video.